Back in June, as quarterback Joe Flacco prepared for his 11th NFL season, there was another Flacco nearby looking to re-energize his football career. Tom Flacco, Joe's youngest brother, transferred to Towson University with plans of earning the Tigers' starting quarterback job. Now four months later, Tom has led the Tigers to a 6-1 and one start. And with Joe's alma mater, Delaware, on the schedule for this weekend, the Flacco brothers' football journeys have come full circle. Tom, your brother, uh, starring now just down the road at Towson. I'm sure that creates a, a lot of emotions, but what's the best way to describe what this experience has been like for you? Well, it's just been really cool. I mean, I haven't, even when he, you know, he's 10 years younger than I am. I'm the oldest, he's the youngest. So even when he was in high school, I didn't, I didn't really get a chance to see him play too much because I was either in college or I, I guess I was probably in the NFL by then. Um, so it was tough to get home and watch him play. So the fact that I'm able, I've actually been able to get to his first game and then either stream him or see him on TV back at my house the last the last few weeks has been really cool for me to actually get a chance to see him play for real and um, it's been a lot of fun. Tom Flacco's journey is remarkably similar to Joe's. Both started at big time schools. Joe at the University of Pittsburgh and Tom at Western Michigan. Joe of course eventually transferred to Delaware and led them to the national championship game in 2007. After a stop at Rutgers, Tom landed at Towson, which just so happens to be a conference rival of Delaware's. But Tom doesn't credit his recent success to the family name. I never have something to prove when it comes to Joe and my family. It's always, I've been overlooked, and I don't know why, because you think that I wouldn't be overlooked as a Flacco, maybe if someone would look at me, but they didn't. So it's always been that. Uh, no one thinks I'm good enough, so I'm gonna go show that. I'm not, it's not about my name. This offseason, Towson head coach Rob Ambrose was in search of a starting quarterback. Ambrose joined Towson as the head coach in 2009, and after three playoff appearances in his first four years, including a trip to the national championship in 2013, it has been four years since the Tigers had a playoff berth. The program needed a leader, and when coach Ambrose first met Tom Flacco, he knew he had found his guy. Part of the reason that he's here and that he won the starting job has to do with his maturity. That he's an older kid, he's been, he's been through the ringer, and he knows what's real. And what's real is what we do. Having to live in the shadow of your brother is a difficult thing to do. And uh, he handles that probably better than I would have ever anticipated. But at what point does the name become something that you're, you're drawn to? It, it wasn't a consideration of the decision but it's enjoyable for people to be able to market that, especially around here. It's a, football's a big deal in this town, and to have two brothers doing so well, that's kind of cool. The Tigers are now ranked number 10 in the country and sit in first place in their conference with a 4-0 record. There's a buzz on campus around this football team again, and a big reason is Tom's performance so far this season. His 17 touchdown passes are good for eighth best in the country. But unlike his brother, he also leads his team in rushing yards. His style as a player uh, has been described, as I've come to learn it, as a little bit different than maybe his older brothers. How would you describe it? He's extremely competitive. The two things that I find in them both is that they're both very accurate passers, and they're both extremely competitive. How Tom goes about his business is a little bit different. I think we do have a lot of similarities. I, I, I think it's tough to deny when you watch him and, and to not see yourself in a lot of in a lot of things that he does. But he is just he's he's definitely different in, in, in than I am in terms of how he can use his legs and the confidence that he has in, in, in doing those kind of things. The oldest of six, Joe describes the Flacco family as about as close as you can be. But Tom is almost 10 years younger than Joe so there wasn't as much backyard football between the brothers as you might think. We had a schoolyard right next to us and they had a basketball court. And that's what I remember playing Joe against, it was basketball, you know, just shooting games. Because it's something that when you're a little kid you can still shoot, you know. And the football, I'm definitely not going to, I mean, my brother Mike and him, come on. I wouldn't be able to play against those guys when I was small. You know, when I was 18 and he was 8, if we were going to play a pickup football game on the on the on, in the schoolyard, then he he could have went out there and we could have we could have let him count, you know, a little bit. Well, maybe the the athleticism came from survival too. Yeah, you there's no doubt. There's you no, got to avoid. There's no doubt when you're when you're sixth in line that you're going to have a little bit more skills than 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 some of the other guys. Uh, October 27th, it's uh, Towson in Delaware. Um, look, family's always first, but that that should be a unique opportunity for you 
in terms of, of where your career really took off and, and where Tom is right now at Towson? Yeah, it'll be cool, and I think it'll be cool for him too, just because uh, you know, there's obviously a little bit of connection there, just with our family in Delaware and now Towson. So. I think it'll be a, I think it'll be a probably a cool atmosphere for him. And in typical Flacco fashion, Tom is remaining very even keeled about the Delaware game, returning to a stadium where he watched his older brother play. I don't know. I mean, I don't really think about that much. I mean, when I get there, I'll be like, oh, it's pretty cool. I used to be in those stands, you know, but it's a nice stadium. I'm excited to go there and play at that stadium. Lastly, when, when you guys have the time, do you have the time to put football away and just spend time together as brothers now that you live so close to one another? Yeah, of course. I, I love going over to his, to his house, not to see him, but to see my nephews and my niece. I mean, they're, they're awesome. I was at Western Michigan. I missed those things. You know, you don't realize that you miss them until you're back and you're like, oh, yeah, I did miss those when I was out there. And who knows? Maybe Tom Flacco will lead Towson back to the national championship game just the way his older brother Joe did at Delaware. The hope is there's plenty of playoff football to talk about in Baltimore come December.